chased every step Can't say I won't forget No, I remember you And the look of fear in your eyes Thought I left it there Guess I just didn't care No, I remember you And the look of fear in your eyes Someday, someday, someday I'll be, I'll be, I'll be What I've always needed Pick myself up whenever I want um, so the song that I um, just released, it's um, called Retrace, which I, um, which my sister Annabelle had composed, and she has written the song, and it's basically about the artists, um, you know, who who are not very much appreciated by the people un until they are no longer alive, and I think you know all that sort of. Um, vibe was was during the lockdown you know we lost a lot of people and it was just a very tragic uh phase that we all went through and so you know my sister and we sort of sat down and you know we just started writing so um that's one of the singles that had recently come out and along with that um another single of mine and mr himesh reshamia's from his album saru came out uh and it's called aja um that is a completely different genre and vibe it's a party song it's so good and i'm so glad um you know to see the amount of uh feedback and you know reaction that i'm getting from the fans so yeah what is the backstory of the song uh the backstory of retrace yeah uh, so the backstory of Retrace, like I said, it's um, it's a very melancholy uh, song and music, and um, it's just based on reality, the harsh reality that we all face, um, especially artists. Um, you know the like I said before, you know people people don't tend to value the artists and their their hard work and their music um, until they are no longer. Um, you know there on earth so so it's just about a song about that um and it's a very it's on a very sensitive topic and i just wanted to write that to express um the feelings and um the emotion of an artist from the inside from their perspective on the inside so yeah okay and what kind of response you're getting with for this song um, it's completely different to all to whatever I've done from the past, and definitely I'm getting a great, great reaction. Um, a lot of people are loving it. You know, it's it's a different vibe and a different genre, and even the way that I sort of sang it, um, it's you know it's different. So I'm really happy and glad to see how people are responding to the song. So. Okay, um, so the process is pretty simple. Uh, it's nothing too much. So we, you know, uh, my sister and I, we write together. So a lot of times she composes and then I sort of, uh, you know, come up with the lyrics. Though she's a better <laughs> songwriter than I am. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's, it's just how like we, you know, it's like, a, it's like a little game and it's like a little improv going on. So we just sit down and we think about something and we put our phone on record. So, you know, we're just like blabbing out words or um, melodies and stuff like that. And then we go back to it and then we, you know, properly sort of like put it in... Um, in order and sometimes you know we we have like a, a thought and we try to like you know come up with something though I would say that sometimes it takes us like 15 minutes and we complete the song and sometimes it takes us two years so you never know but yeah and what about this song? Um, this song? Yeah. Uh, uh, this song was actually written uh, during the lockdown and because we had such a long time <laughs> I would say this song um, you know it, it took it it took its time definitely for sure um, only because you know it's such a 
deep and and meaningful uh song so so yeah but um again it was just so amazing to to write this song and and to work with uh you know my sister i mean i love working with her so um so my journey started um back when i was 16 years old and you know i had collaborated with Pooh bear who is justin bieber's uh super songwriter and producer and um i guess that's you know that was like the beginning of my journey um you know with the song a long time and again i got such a great response from everywhere across the world and i was so thankful and grateful for them and um you know that's how the journey basically began and then i worked with um kyle townsend who is an academy uh, award nominated producer and he's worked with so many people uh, including Dan Warren and you know we came up with this amazing uh, anti-bullying song called Give Me Your Hand and gradually I worked with Mr. Sonanigam, um, Dad of course on one of the songs and I started releasing uh, you know my own singles so so yeah that's how the journey began. <laughs> Um, so I never wanted to <laughs> interview anybody or something like because like I'm a very introvert person so for me to to be you know interviewing or even to like sit over here is very nerve-wracking for me because like I, I cannot talk or ha like hold a conversation at all. Uh, you ask me to sing, I'll sing for you. <laughs> but <laughs> having a conversation is terrible. But um, you know, it was during the lockdown, and I was getting super bored. There was nothing to do, and you know, everyone was just like they had their equipments, and everybody was trying to come up with their own little podcast, talking about you know other stuff. So you know, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to also have a little podcast of my own and um, you know I wanted to to have a a show that is you know that connects with with people to celebrities because I know that a lot of times um, people have this perspective uh, perspective of, of their celebrities that oh they're so huge or they must be arrogant or you know they got it easy um, their success was you know no um, no struggle and everything, but they rarely know what happens behind, you know, the the success of the of the celebrity. So I wanted to have a show that, um, you know, that gives the celebrities a opportunity and a chance to um, talk about their journey, and also for for those who are, um, you know, aspiring artists or actors or, you know, who are just into music to. Um, get inspired and, and um, yeah, and, and, you know, um, continue their, their journey, so, yeah. What tips do you give your father when you record your song? Do you want to do your My dad gives me a lot of tips. Uh, he even scolds me <laughs> when I don't sing it right. <laughs> um, but I would say the tips that he gives is, um, you know, to sing from your heart, like, Dil <laughs> Segal, it with emotion, and because that's the main thing in the song, right? I mean, if you don't know what you're singing, then how are you able to connect with others, and how are others able to connect with you and your song? So having that emotion, knowing what what mood it is, and and molding yourself into that according to the song, um, that's one of the tips that he gave me. Um, as an artist and of course like for live performances you know like mic techniques and just enjoying and and, and you know uh, interacting with the audience and everything so these are the the little tips that he always gives me once in a while um, and I'm always learning from him honestly it's like you know he's he's a, he's a school of music and you know you can never uh, stop learning from him so yeah okay uh, when he heard retrace yeah. Um, he actually loved it. He, uh, he was very proud of me and, you know, he said that this is so, um, it's a very honest and, and truthful, 
you know, song, and obviously the lyrics are, you know, I, I translated it to him, and I told him what the song is about, and he really loved it, and um, he was very impressed uh, by, obviously, the, the melody, the, the singing, and um, the lyrics, which were uh, written, so yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh gosh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> um, all right. We traced every step. Can't say I won't forget. No, I remember you and the look of fear in your eyes. Thought I left it there. Guess I just didn't care. No, I remember you and the look of fear in your eyes. Someday, 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 I'll be, I'll be, I'll be what I've always needed. Pick myself up whenever I want. Thank you. Hey, what song do you want to sing? Follow the song. <laughs> uh, how about I sing um, the song that just got released, Aja, by yeah. Mr. Maestro Shamia. I apologize. Um, I'm going through a cold and a cough. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Tu meri aankhon ka tara tu mera rockstar hai tere nano ka te hua de ke paar hai teri yaadon mein khoye hu main raat din tera to sab gaat aade karar hai you the one boy I want you to see you the king baby I'm your queen you the one boy I want you to see here we go Rani ma teri tu raja jave ajoe Rani ma teri tu raja jave ajoe to aja to aja to aja dil janiye aja to aja to aja dil janiye Rani ma teri tu raja jave ajoe Super Rani jis sath mein agar baat karu agar aur agar aapke film projects ki to kya hone wale hai apni taraf se um we have a lot of great projects coming up uh we have some really cool songs from from my side and from the people that I've collaborated so I'm really excited for uh 2022 um cannot believe that the year has already ended but uh there's a lot more to come so stay tuned <laughs> and now I share another of your music you're about to do what kind of music you want to do matlab kis tarike ke gaane aap aur karna chahte hain collab karna chahte hain as you as you said ki jo abhi tak mauka na mila aur aur kya music mein naya dekhne ko milega aapke liye uh definitely incorporate uh the bollywood and a little bit of hindi music and i love i would honestly love to sing in as many languages as I can um uh, Hindi for sure I've sung a little bit in Punjabi as well again that's something that I'm really excited for um you know Bengali and all the other beautiful languages out there you know I would love to sing in that and in terms of like collaborations I mean I've already collaborated with um Mr. Sonu Nigam Mr. Shan um uh, Mr. Himesh Reshamia yeah. so I am really looking forward to seeing who else i can collaborate with um i would honestly love to sing with arijit singh i would love to sing with um arman malik and all these amazing artists out here so yeah last you what would you like to say to your friends um, audience <laughs> thank you so much for for giving me all your love and support um You know, thank you so much for loving my songs, Retrace, Aja, and all the other songs that I've released so far. I uh, love you guys so much. Um, stay safe and please keep uh, staying in tune because there's a lot more coming. <laughs> thank you so much, Shannon. I'm just about to get you all the best for your future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, there's some uh, random videos or like yeah, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video. 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 ये कैसे कर लेते हैं फिर एक